Hi, this is Rob Nelson, and today I'm going to show you a few tricks you can do on Photoshop um, to make your pictures uh, pop and just look a lot nicer. Now, I'm using an older version of Photoshop, Photoshop CS2, and I'm doing that because uh, if you don't have Photoshop already, uh, you can get CS2 for free from Adobe. Uh, just Google uh, free Adobe CS2 Photoshop it'll take you to the link there and it's it's definitely well worth uh, getting it if you don't have it so okay so what I've got here for you is um, uh, the Photoshop screen is open uh, there's a toolbar over here on the left and then all the layers and history here now let's look at this picture it's kind of washed out uh, it almost looks like there's a gray uh, film across uh, the picture and that's really the sunlight hitting the lens of the camera doing that so on almost every picture uh, pretty much every picture I do um, the first thing I start with is what's called levels so you'll see over here on the right there's this little uh, circle black and white circle it's a, a fill or adjustment layer just left click that and this little menu will pop up so you go up here to levels click that and that's going to show you, uh, it's called a histogram of uh, the values in the picture. I'm just going to make this really simple. If you go over here on the left and uh, click that, then you can drag it over and watch what happens as I drag it. Uh, it takes the sheen off, doesn't it? Almost every photo that my cameras take has this kind of a sheen on them. and so. So bringing this over here to the bottom of the histogram will take that off. You know, you know, I'm going to go a little bit further on this one just to increase the contrast. This is what happens if I take it all the way over. It just gets darker and darker and darker. But nope, that doesn't seem so good. Here we go. Uh, right about there. Let's close that. Now on the other side, this is going to make it brighter. So, you know, if you keep going, it'll just basically white it out. But going over here to the edge of the histogram, you can see it's going to make the make it a little brighter, make the colors pop. All the flowers, the sunlight on the leaves and all. So, that looks about right to me. I'm just going to click OK. And by the way, I almost never mess with this one in the middle. It just doesn't seem necessary. So, click OK and boom it's going to add that layer over here on the layer menu now it's looking pretty good to me um, to do any other correction so I need to collapse these into one layer so to do that I'm going to hit control and E and whoop, it all turns into the background now I can always go back a few steps down here in the history bar but I'm going to keep this for now now you see up here, um, the sky got very, very, very bright. If I want to bring this back, because I got it looking good down here, if I want this back to where it was, there's a, a tool over here, the history brush. So I can just click that, and using the ellipses, I can make that circle bigger, smaller. That's about right. Let's just see what happens if I return it to where it was. Yeah, I'm liking that a little bit better. Great, I'm just going to uh, maybe come over here. I'm going to leave it at that. And now the picture is looking much better to me. Let's go back to, um, this will show you the original when we opened it. Ah, yeah, and it's very washed out, very um, gray film. And this is what we have so far. Boom. Much nicer, right? Well, there's a couple things I still really don't like about this picture. Um, somebody was a litter bug and if you look down here so I'm gonna go up here and get this um, pointer oh dear it's a piece of garbage there and maybe here too there's a couple ways I might use to get rid of this um, for something this small I'm gonna go over here to this tool which is the healing brush tool and I just click that actually let me right click it you can see there's different tools here I'm going to use the second one down, the healing brush tool. 
that gives me a little circle. And using the ellipses keys, I'm going to make that a little bigger. Now, if I pick a place nearby and hit the Alt key, it's going to use that as my target. Then I click, left click, go over the litter, and left click again. Voila, it's gone, which is really nice. Um, you can do this with any part of the um, screen. I'm just, just for fun here, I'm just going to take some of these flowers, again using the Alt key to get my target, left click, bring it over here, and ah, I've got some flowers. Uh, well, that's okay. You know, it actually doesn't look that weird, even though it's really circle flowers, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that. So the other way I use to get rid of things is to use the lasso tool, lasso tool up here. You can choose how much feather that has. Let's just call this a three here. And um, so I'm gonna lasso around. You just left click and then drag. It'll make a little lasso around here, let go. It's selected. Now if I click again, I can drag this over. Well, let's drag it up actually. And what I'm going to do now is select Control and Alt together. That's going to make a copy. I'll drag that back, let go, click to deselect. There, that litter is gone too. So these are probably the tricks I use most. They're very easy to do. You can uh, really do a lot of correction in your photos this way. And again, uh, this is our picture before. And this is the one uh, we've done. It took a few minutes. So just much, much nicer. Now I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to save this as. That way I can go back to the original photo if I want to. I'll have to give it a new name. I'll just call this uh, B. Keep the same numbers and B. Okay, save it. Uh, eight is usually a high enough uh, quality um, to print something out if you want to print it out. And okay, and then we're done. So uh, that's what I've got for you today. Uh, again, you can get CS2 for free from Adobe, which is awesome. Um, and using these simple tools, you can make almost any picture an uh, awful lot better. So thanks for watching. I hope you um, take some time to play with your photos. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, thanks. This is Rob Nelson.